This video is brought to you by Robinhood, the investment brokerage app that lets you buy stocks, ETFs, and crypto all commission free. Did you know since the start of the March stock market crash, over 800,000 new brokerage accounts have been created and buying stocks was the third most popular thing that people spent their stimulus checks on. I know I did. So stop missing out and use the link in the description below. Get your free stock just for signing up. No deposit required. And finally, this is my real portfolio. What's up, B2? Capital G here. Here, checking out what I am pretty sure is going to be Merrick Ishtar's final new piece of support coming out in the next legendary duelist, Duelist of Gloom. This is Blaze Cannon. It's a quick play spell that says this card is always treated as a Blaze Accelerator card. It says choose one winged dragon of Rai you control. It gains these effects until the end of this turn. This card's activation and effect cannot be negated. So your winged dragon of Ra becomes unaffected by opponent's card effects. Your Winged Dragon Ra also gains this effect. When an attack is declared with this card, you contribute any number of monsters that did not declare an attack this turn. Uh, that's a cost, by the way. This card gains attack equal to the attributed monsters combined original attack until the end of this turn. And then finally, your Winged Dragon Ra also. After damage calculation, if this card attacked, you can send all other monsters your opponent controls to the graveyard. So, this card is actually kind of insane when you think about it, like on a surface level of what the Winged Dragon of Ra deck like wants to do, because we all know like basically you're just trying to summon the Winged Dragon of Ra, you're trying to one-shot your opponent. The, the problem historically has always been that if it didn't go perfectly well, you really didn't have any life points to like play the rest of the game out. You had almost no margin for error, and it really wasn't all that difficult to stop Ra. I mean, a simple effect veil before your opponent goes to the battle phase and then you, you really can't do anything you basically just lose the duel after you've paid all those life points this is a way to like actually make sure that your one shot goes through and that's something that i kind of like i've always felt that that's a big problem with Ra. even as we've gotten these new cards that uh, that let us get additional normal summons and that uh, you know let us give Ra more attack without paying life points it still felt like Ra had the same problem you just lose to a simple effect veiler you lose to a simple and permanence you lose to basically any form of disruption that your opponent's going to throw at you this card kind of solves that in addition this card also lets you gain potentially more attack by giving up other monsters on your side of the field that maybe aren't as important as Ra. I mean, Ra is the win condition for Pete's sake. So just give up those other monsters and you're going to gain those, you know, those monsters attack. So it's basically like those monsters are attacking anyways. And then even the third, the third effect of this card, it's non-targeting removal and it sends to the graveyard. It doesn't destroy. This means that you can even out things like Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, which is definitely really nice. I also love the the fact that this card's effect and activation cannot be negated by your opponent they can't solemn it they can't use any of their negation cards on it i i kind of feel like that's just smart card design by konami i mean when you look at the wing dragon of Ra, it's one of the most high risk cards in the entire game because a lot of times when you use the effect you're paying like seven thousand plus life points you really don't have a backup win condition at that point it's nice that you can just force this card's effect through no matter what and your opponent just kind of has to see Sit there and take it and uh, there really isn't anything that they can do about it my only big gripe with this card is i have no idea how the heck you're supposed to get to it because i can't find a simple way of searching this in the wing dragon rod deck it's actually super ironic that they made this card always count as blaze accelerator because volcanic rocket of all things is what can search this card but <laughs> I mean, Konami surely doesn't want us playing like the Wing Dragon or Raw Volcanic deck because that would just be weird. But yeah, technically you can play this as a Volcanic card if you want. It just, I don't know if it'll do anything in a Volcanic deck, but <laughs> take it for what it is. Anyways, whatever you guys think of Blaze Cannon, which uh, the artwork looks magnificent on this card and really just kind of makes the, the, the Wing Dragon or Raw one shot. It, it makes it feel satisfying and it feels like it's going to guarantee the one shot a lot lot more uh like it, it goes off a lot more successfully but you guys leave that in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos